Every tombstone tells a story. This one recalls that Czechoslovakia almost had a space program. One Czech scientist wanted to use rockets to deliver mail from Europe to the Americas. On March 2, 1930, Ludwig Auchinasek launched eight solid-fuel rockets just outside of Prague. One soared two and a half kilometers. Another exploded on the ground. He is all but forgotten today, but throughout his career he made numerous inventions including a parachute, a unicycle, and audio speakers. But success eluded him. What he is most remembered for now is tapping into German and Austrian defense ministry phone lines during World War I. His listening station was near what is now the Lithuanian embassy. He began experimenting in rocketry in the 1920s, which made him a true pioneer in the field. But his rocket experiments were ridiculed. A German newspaper ran a joke article on Christmas 1929 saying Auchina Schek was planning to send a spaceship to the moon. Hundreds of people wrote in hoping to book seats. The rather small rockets launched in 1930 were not what the public had been falsely led to expect. He soon wound up in bankruptcy due to a lack of investors. Oddly, he was not alone in his mail-by rocket idea. Similar experiments took place in England in 1934, and some 3,000 letters were sent by missile in the US on June 8, 1959. The special envelopes from the latter are sought after by collectors. He tried to adapt his rocket engines to make speed boats for delivery and military purposes, but again this project failed. One of the most mysterious parts of his career was a return to rocket research for the Czechoslovak government just before World War II. All that remains is a single photo of the occupying Germans wanted him to help them develop their rockets, but he refused. He also knew he was under close surveillance, so he was unable to help the resistance for most of the war. He did help to defend the Czechoslovak radio building in May 1945 and was injured at the age of 73. Alcina Shek died in 1949 at the age of 77, and is buried in Olsheny cemeteries. His name is not listed on the map of famous occupants. His life story did not fit in with the agenda of the communist regime in the 1950s, so he was left out of Czechoslovak history books, which favored accounts of Soviet scientists when it came to anything space-related. Since 2005, an asteroid between Mars and Jupiter has been named after him. Thank you. Please like and follow for more Prague stories.